What's going on everybody? All right, so I wanted to talk about the new Tundra, the new spy shots that just come out a little while ago or I just seen a little while ago. Um, it showed that the new redesigned Tundra, um, 2022 Tundra, we expected to come out in 2022. We hope COVID hasn't pushed that back anymore. But it had um, coil springs in the rear of the truck. Now, I don't know if all models will come with coil springs or if just models like, you know, the Platinum Edition, the 1794, the more um, luxury oriented trucks, uh, because a lot of people that buy those trucks may not use them for like hard use stuff. So they may want them for like the ride quality and stuff like that. But what do I mean by that? What, why do I mean they may put them on the luxury models and not on lower end models? Um, there are some pros and cons to um, coal springs and leaf springs. Sorry about all the birds. It's, it's getting like springtime here, starting to warm up and all the birds are going crazy. Um, but coal springs will give you a lot better ride. Your ride quality will improve. If you want to go off-roading, you can usually have more adjustability. You can upgrade them a little more. You get more articulation with like those, so if you're like an overlander or if you're like, you know, somebody that likes to off-road a lot, um, coal spring suspension is superior to leaf spring suspension um, when it comes to off-roading. That's why you see a lot of Jeeps that have that huge, you know, articulation in the photos and stuff like that. They have these big, you know, coal springs, coal over packages that allow them to articulate like that. They can also change arms and stuff like that, put like a four link system, but that's a whole different ball game. Coal springs will give you more articulation in your vehicle for overlanding and or off-roading. But now on the other side of that, they're not quite as good at carrying heavy loads. And that's why I'm saying, and the you know, leaf springs are also not going to give you as good a ride. And that's why I'm thinking, you know, it may be the more luxury models because those people aren't going to use their trucks um, a lot for like, you know, beating them up and hauling lots. I'm not saying that everybody doesn't do that, but a lot of people that pay that much for a truck are not going to like haul like real heavy stuff with it. They want it for the luxury and the ride quality. Whereas, like I started to say with leaf springs, um, they're better for hauling and towing. They just handle heavier loads better. So I think like the lower end trucks, not lower end, but lower trim level trucks that people are more likely to use in that scenario, such as hauling stuff and using them as work trucks. Um, you may still have the option for a leaf spring, but I don't know that. That's just speculation. It would make sense to me that if you're buying a work truck, they would leave, you know, leaf springs in it or maybe add some kind of air system to it so you can you know stiffen that suspension up a little bit and that may be an option as well um, not ruling that out they may be able to add some kind of air suspension in there that stiffens that up so that if you are towing something heavy you have the stability you need to actually be able to tow that load but in my mind it just makes sense that um they would offer a coal or a coal spring in the higher end stuff and maybe a leaf spring in lower end but like I said, that may be totally wrong. Um, it just seems like it would be cheaper to do the leaf spring in the lower trim levels that may be used for work trucks or people buying them for work trucks than it would be to put the, the coal springs and the air ride system to stiffen that up. It just seems like that would be more cost effective to leave the, the leaf springs in there. But I wanted to tell you all about that. I wanted to you know, tell you that it has been, you can Google it. Those pictures that I seen all had copyright uh, stuff on them so I can't use them on this video but it's a quick Google search you know 2022 Tundra Coal Springs and it shows all the spy photos that have been captured by it but I just want to get on here real quick and talk about that and see what you all thought about it I think it's gonna be a good thing um, I know a lot of people talk about needing the sway bars and stuff in the rear and they may actually have to beefing them up a little bit using coal suspension because I'm not sure about how stable, if that'll be more stable or less stable uh, than leaf springs. It seems like it might be just a little less, so you might have a little bit beefier um, anti-sway bar in the rear. Maybe they'll just go ahead and put the TRD one on it. I don't know, but um, 
I'm anxious to see what all they come out with. I'm anxious to see the truck. It's been a long time coming. We've heard these rumors forever, and it's still not came out yet. We've still not seen it yet. There's been a lot of speculation. We thought we'd already see it by now, and it's just not happened. So hopefully soon, they actually show us a whole truck, but at least this is a little insight to some changes they're actually making. Again, let me know in the comment section below, do you like the coil spring in the rear? or would you rather keep the traditional leaf spring? Me, myself, I think I'd rather have the coil spring because I don't tow a lot. But like I said, if you use this for a work truck, you may be sad to see that go if they don't offer the, uh, the leaf spring anymore. But there again, it's all speculation. They may have offered, I don't know. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in a second.